Hello everyone, in today's video we will be solving the previous year question of UPSC CSC physics optional exam. So in here we are having the two questions. So let's start with the first. In first question we are giving the current carrying circular wire loop of radius 1 cm which has a magnetic moment of 2 mJ per tesla. So in here we have to determine the magnetic field at an axial distance of 3 cm from the center of the loop. So so let's start the solution. So this is the D part. So we are having this circular loop. There is a current flowing in this loop. So we have to find out this magnetic field at a distance of 3 cm from the center. So this point P we have to find out the magnetic field due to this current carrying loop having the radius R here R is given as 1 cm and this Z is equal to 3 cm. So this distance R we can find out doing the square root of these two. So we know that if this is theta so our magnetic field will be somewhere here. So our component, this vertical component will cancel out each other. So this perpendicular component will be contributing. So the expression we know is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square. Here r can be written as r square is equal to this and sin theta can be written as r perpendicular over hypotenuse so it's perpendicular over hypotenuse so this is r square plus d square so we will put these two values in this expression so we will get this dl will be 2 pi r this is circumference because we are taking the small element dl so we will integrate this whole through so our expression for dl will replace with 2 pi r we will replace the dl with 2 pi r and this in the denominator this is r square by z square this will become this root of r square plus z square so for the simplifying this so this will cancel out with 2 so it's mu naught i by 2 r square divided by r square plus z square 3 by 2 so this is our expression for b we are using this expression to solve this numerical so let's put all the values so mu naught i by 2 r square this r square z square 3 by 2 we are giving r as 1 centimeter so it's 0 0.01 meter z is 3 centimeter so it's 0 0.03 meter and so we are giving the magnetic moment which is equal to current the current flowing in the loop into the area of loop so so we are giving this 2 milli joule per tesla so we will milli we can write this milli as 10 to minus 3 and we have to find out the current and the area of loop can be written as pi r square so we can write this pi r square as 0.1 square so our current comes out to be 2 into minus 3 over pi into 10 raised to power minus 4 so this will come 20 over pi ampere so our current comes out to be 20 by pi ampere so we have all the values now putting all the values into the expression so first we will write the expression which is equal to mu naught i by 2 r square r square z square 3 by 2 
so this can be written as mu naught by 2 i is 20 by pi r is 0 0.01 whole square the 1 into 10 raised to power minus 4 plus 3 1 square into 10 raised to power minus 4 3 by 2 so this so 10 by pi the value of mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 so and this is minus this will become minus 2 4 and this will be 10 into minus 4 3 by 2 so after solving all this So you can calculate this this will come out to be so our magnetic field comes out to be 1 2 6 0 10 to the minus 8 Tesla so we can write this in terms of Gauss so this is 1.126 Gauss so because 1 Gauss is 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla So let's move to the next part. In this question, we are given plane transmission grating which has 3000 lines in all. So the width of the grating 3 mm. What would be the total angular separation in the first order spectrum of the two sodium lines of wavelength 5890 and 5896? So and secondly, we have to know that we can see them distinctly or not. So let's start with the solution. So we are given with a grating, it's the E part, the transmission grating which is having 3000 lines and the width of the grating is 3 mm. So we can find out the lines per centimeter. So the grating constant that is A plus B is the number of lines is the number of this N is number of lines per centimeter. We have 0.3 centimeter width so in this we have 3000 lines so in 1 centimeter so our lines will be 10,000 per centimeter so we can find out the grating constant which is 1 over n our n is 10,000 so this is 10 minus 4 centimeter so we got this grating constant now we have to find out the and we are given the order of spectrum so n is 1 the order of spectrum so in here we have to find out the angular separation so we are using the simple diffraction condition n is 1 we can write this as lambda so this a plus b is constant sine theta 1 and lambda is for the first line there are two sodium lines so one is having 1890 Armstrong and the second is sine theta 2 5896 Armstrong and the A plus B is 10 raised to power minus 4 so we can find out the sine theta 1 5890 into 10 raised to power minus 10 over this will be this is meter this is centimeter so we have to multiply with 10 minus 2 so similarly sine theta 2 8 9 6 in 10 raised to power minus 10 meter over 10 raised to power minus 6 meter so we will solve 
this we will get 0 0.5890 and this is 0 0.5896 so theta 1 is the sign inverse of 0 0.5890 and this theta 2 is sign inverse 0.5896 we get theta 1 is equal to 30 6.086 and this theta 2 is equal to 36.129 so our d theta this theta 2 minus theta 1 36.129 degree minus 36.086 degree which is equal to 0 0.043 degree so this is our angular separation for first order so can we see this so we know we can find out the resolving power of the grading so this is the order this is the into number of lines in a grating so this is 1 into 3000 so this is 3000 for these for these two sodium lines to be distinctly seen so we can find out this lambda over d lambda for these two sodium lines the so five eight nine three this is the mean of two lines there is five eight nine zero and five eight nine six we can find out the mean value this is 5893 approximately and this is d lambda is 6 so this can be approximately equal to 982 so this is lower so our we are having the greater resolving power so we can see this so we can see them distinctly So this is the solution for the second question and if you have any doubts related to both of the questions you can ask me in the comment box and thank you for watching this video.